Korean goddess dressing is so delicious, I just want to use it everywhere. Sure, salads, but it's really good on roasted, marinated chicken. A traditional green goddess dressing has all kinds of herbs in it. It's got tarragon, it's got anchovies. I'm gonna do just a simplified version. I'm gonna use basil because I've got tons of it in the garden right now. Garlic, because you need garlic for green goddess. Buttermilk, which is the base of all green goddess dressings, although sometimes they use mayonnaise. And you could just use plain yogurt as well. Then I've got lime zest. Traditionally, you'd use lemon in a green goddess dressing, but I use lime because it makes it even more green. And it's also a bit floral, which I like. And then you need some kind of oniony component. I'm gonna use chives and one scallion. Oh wait, and the salt and pepper. Very important for a chicken marinade, you need to use a lot of salt. So I'm gonna use two teaspoons here and a teaspoon of pepper. You always start slow if you have a blender with many speeds and then you build up speed and that way everything gets mixed in. Ooh, I like this one. You know that this is ready when it turns bright green. You can see the herbs are completely demolished. However, always check the seasoning. If it's not something that tastes good raw, then it's not gonna taste good as a marinade. It's good. It's on the slightly salty side, but that's actually how I want it because like I said, you need a lot of salt to season the chicken. You need to have chicken for this recipe. I have poultry shears and these are great. They cut right through the bone. So flip your chicken over and you just cut alongside the backbone and there's a little spot right in the breastbone. You'll see a little white bone. Just take a paring knife, cut a little slit. It'll make it easier to open up the breast. Flip it over and just press down. And then we're gonna cut right through. And that's it. Now, what I'm gonna do is use three quarters of the sauce as a marinade for chicken. I'm gonna save a quarter of it just to drizzle on top. So that way you get to taste this when it's roasted, it's mellow, and then the sauce adds a really fresh, herby, bright note. It's green goddessy. In fact, you can even use a little to dress your salad on the side. I'm just gonna turn it around to make sure it's all coated, and then I'm going to put this in the fridge for at least six hours, preferably overnight. If you can do this the day before, the chicken is just gonna taste that much better. So I've let this go all day. Now I'm just gonna put this on my baking pan. And the trick here is to get that crisp skin, you have to get rid of some of this really wet marinade. Then a little olive oil right over the top. This also helps with the browning. Roast it at 500. I know that sounds high, but that's how you get that really crispy skin. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes. And for you grilling lovers out there, yes, you can totally grill this. It will work beautifully. And that is that. There you go, a new use for my favorite salad dressing.